Hello ladies and fanboys, my name is Chronic EXE, I'm also known as the Shift HD, and this is my penis, and I'm very proud. Ooh, giggity giggity. Anyway, what I'm going to be telling you today is about frames per second configs and playing configs and etc. Now, what I expect uh, you not to understand is what they do is, uh, well what they do, they literally just enhance your frames per second, but they suffer in the graphics. So you won't be able to see everything in spectacular graphics like you would in the Xbox consoles, etc. But on the upside, you do get smoother gameplay, you maximise your gaming capabilities, and it also probably end up getting you better frags. So let's get started on this. Let's get rid of this odd picture which I found for you lot. Let's start again. Now, what you want to do is you want to get yourself over to bashandslash.com. So you go over to these guys, go to the home page. I will give you guys links to these so you don't have to, but otherwise this is how to do it. So you go over to Call of Duty 4 over here, and you go over to Call of Duty 4 Tweaks. Now, you find yourself the Yitch 3 configuration. That tells you all about it and etc. Gives you little, gives you examples of how to do, what happens, see that. No significant loss and I can do well you you will depending on what you want, but yeah. Gives you an example. This is what happens when you when you're normal. You get fifty two frames per second if you've got a crap graphics card and etc. And that takes it up to hundred and eighty three. So yeah. That's the series. Gives you even more frames per second. Anyway, let's get to it. Now you want to get yourself to the right at the bottom, it comes to the Git reconfig, it'll open up a new page. And then what you want to do is you want to copy it all. I could do it the quicker way, but I just really can't be asked. Quite storms hard. What oh my goodness! Taking a long time! Anyway, here's all of it done. Then you go to copy. Hopefully it's copied. Now you want to go to yourself your Call of Duty 4, open file location. Actually want to think about it just before I do that. New. Let's get a new profile. Yitch. Three. Okay, so let's click on that. Okay, okay. Let's quit it. Now it has myself a new profile. Go to compatibility file. Files. Profiles. Yet three. Now you got yourself no. Text document. And you don't want to name it. I don't know why I'm talking like this anyway. Open it up. You paste everything in. File save as. Config. NP dot config. Remember. Read it. Config MP dot config. Yeah, got it with the underscore. Save. Ask you to overwrite it. Yes. Now, see if it works. Close it all down. Start Call of Duty Four. No. As you can see, a little bit has changed already. So you go H three. Go dev map MP oh, God damn. Crash. That'll crash you all. <laughs> Ever cold, by the way. I do not like it. My nose propels an insane amount of. Yes, well, anyway, you can see at the top it's 125 frames per second. Now let's unlock it. Yeah, what am I doing? Um, max frames per second, zero. Wow, what the hell? Oh, look at that. Yeah, reap it. 500 frames per second, 700. Yeah, anyway, whoa. Well, it's a lot smoother, as you can see. Let's change the FOV. Yeah, you get the idea. Blah blah blah. Hee <laughs> hee. 
smooth, isn't it? Anyway, let's cut that. That's pretty much it, really. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really it. So, remember, bash and slash, yitch three. Open file location, compatibility files, players, profiles, itch3, make a new text document by going right click and new text document, yeah. open it up, paste everything into it, save as config mp, yeah it's already got it for me, yes, pow, done. Load up COD and see if it works. Now you did see I will suffer in frame, uh, frames per second lossage. Uh, sorry, not frames per second lossage, graphics lossage. But it's all for a worthy cause. And then obviously you have yourself other profiles to buff up the graphics if you're doing frag movies. I am Chronic EXE. I hope you enjoyed my penis. Bye. <laughs>